Hello everyone and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer portion that's going to be bundled with Resident Evil 3. It's a 4 versus 1 game mode, 4 survivors, 1 mastermind, who's trying to go ahead and stop the survivors from escaping. I wanted to make this video because it's a lot <laughs> to take this in when you try playing this game. There's so many things that are happening all at the same time. What I'm probably going to do is make a video where I break down each element, but what I also want to do is try to give you more of a real-time thought process as to what's going on so you kind of understand how quickly you're being forced to make choices. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get in survivor mode and pick Jan, because Jan has a very important role against the Mastermind. The Mastermind controls everything through cameras. And if you're Jan, you can go ahead and disable those cameras or slow down the camera gameplay. I'm going to talk through what I'm thinking as I'm seeing it. Because if I try to explain what something is over and over and over again while things are happening, it's going to be tough. Right now we're in the beta. This means not everything's in the game. This shows itself when you're playing Survivor. Because it's very, very, very... Grab Jan here. It's very, very, very favoring the Mastermind right now. Probably for a few reasons. One, people don't know what they're doing yet. Two, the Mastermind learning curve isn't as intense. Three, people don't have all their perks yet. If you don't know what Jan does, let me explain Jan here. She has a really sick iguana. <laughs> Her prices at the umbrella credit stores are lower. Her rounds damage cameras faster than anybody else's. She can overload a camera, so basically disable a camera without shooting it. And she can also make things through the cameras cost more because the way the mastermind works is he has to spend points in order to issue out a card which will have like a zombie or an ability or something on it to make it so the survivors are having a rougher time. Her novice gear, this is all that's in the beta, is that she'll heal herself automatically, which is helpful. So we have that on right now. And once this starts up, I'm just going to try to talk through what I'm going through. And I might pause a little bit. There might be times where I'm like that. But I'm telling you, it's because there's a lot going on all at the same time. What you need to know about Daniel is that he is a mastermind that benefits the most from controlling a zombie or creature. He gets tons of bonuses. They do more damage. They heal themselves, etc., etc. So you might see him do that a lot. You can tell he's controlling a creature if a red name pops above it and its eyes turn red. So watch for that. Watch for that. Sorry, wrong button here. Watch for that. And... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just a lot to take in. We probably aren't going to win because it's very hard to win in the beta right now. I'm playing on Xbox One because I PS4 and PC aren't working. But first, we're going to hustle here and try to buy something. Hopefully, we get a good gun. We don't really get a good gun here. So I'm actually going to take a torch in case things don't work out for me here. And I'm going to buy some ammo because she has to shoot cameras better than anybody else does. And I'm going to take some green herbs because I'm going to want to heal. Now, initially, what you're going to see is you're going to see these cameras probably up here. Yep, he's controlling it already. Honestly, I'm not going to use my skill in here yet, though. Because I feel like this is a waste of time. You got to watch the ground. See? Traps right here. I think that just got placed. You walked over and got lucky. Because there's like a two-second timer after you use it. He may have just locked the cameras and locked... Or locked the door and locked her in there. Help her out. Help her out. Because you can prevent damage if you... Crap. I got stuck here. Help me out. Okay, now I gotta stop this because I'm Jan. Especially if they get the machine gun. Perfect. Now we gotta get out of here. We gotta push forward. There's nothing in here for us other than getting beat up. So let's keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. The whole point is to keep the time high. If you lose time, you're losing. So keep watching the ground. Try to pick things up. Each one of these people has their own skills. Tyrone is the tank. Valerie's the healer. I'm the hacker. And what, Samuel? He's the brawler. I think yellow herbs make it so that I can inflict more damage and take less damage. Watch around for the dogs. They don't take a lot of damage. We gotta shoot this out. Gotta shoot this out. Gotta shoot this out. Because that machine gun does so much damage and it causes us to lose a lot of time. Surprised he's not shooting us with it. So, it takes a long time to disable a camera with the base pistol, which is why it sucks I didn't get a good one right away. Sometimes you get, like, the magnum straight out the gate. Oh my god, this dog. I can't mess with him too long. There's a puzzle piece right here, so we gotta pick up the puzzle pieces. Dogs is messing with us. Can't no time. Don't want get your feet stuck, please. Oh my god, I can't hit it. This will be easier on PC, by the way. I'm playing on Xbox. It'd be way easier to just lock onto things on PC. Okay. That was a landmine, so I'm, I don't know if I take damage if I blow it up right next to me. I have a piece right now, 
to put onto the Mr. Raccoon. There's four different presets that the, ah, that the Mastermind can choose from. The one he chose now is currently the Mr. Raccoon one. These dogs are way easier to take out with any gun other than this one. Because they don't have a lot of health. But man, it's tough when you got this crappy pistol that has a slow fire rate. Exit's open. We're going. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Everybody's gotta come in. All you gotta do is stand on the exit. I'm gonna sit here and try to wait to see if he uses this camera here. But we really need to get our two dudes over here so we can escape. Where's Tyrone? I wish we could talk to them. Or like, signal, hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Come on, Tyrone. Come on, Tyrone. Come on, Tyrone. Never really expected you to Tyrone! Get it. Come on, man. Come on. Here, 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 here. EMP We're ready. wasting, like, valuable seconds here. If you complete actions, you are advancing your time up. So we just got a big action done by going to a new area. Now, I'm going to check here in this new one, in this new box, to see if we get a better gun. The Quick Draw Army's pretty good. Lightning Hawk is the Magnum. I want that, but it uses up a lot of ammo. And I'm going to be very ammo-focused here as Jan. So I'm just going to try to pick up ammo. Honestly, I'm thinking about the quick draw as well, but I'm actually going to save that for later in case I need that. You don't want to waste too much time here making your quick draw selections go, but we got to keep moving. You got to look for umbrella credits. They're kind of all over the place. He is going to soon... We got to kill this thing. Okay, come on. Here we go. That thing heals itself. That's called the dealer. If he would have controlled that thing, thing would have been way more dangerous to us. Right now, I'm just kind of letting him use his points. What we're trying to do right now is we're trying to find a security guard so we can get the security key. Because without that, we can't advance through this part of the game. So I'm just kind of watching him right now. I'm expecting a doctor or a Mr. X to show up at any point. So I'm not really trying to use up too much. Oh, watch your feet. Watch your feet. He's setting up a lot of these here. Try to help out your teammates here. Watch your feet. Now, there's going to be a couple of safe rooms, which will be really useful. Right now, we're still just trying to find the... I pick this up. We're still just trying to find the guy who... Oh, there it is. This is the security guard, so he's going to drop the security key. Valerie picked it up. You can see a little key icon on her, so she has to deactivate these. Hopefully, she knows what she's doing. Seems like she does. Now, we have to find two more of them to advance to the next area. We're doing really well right now. I'm going to pick up ammo because I'm Valerie, and that's very important for me. I'm surprised Dr. X hasn't... Or Mr. I call him Dr. X. I'm sorry. I'm surprised Mr. X hasn't showed up yet. That's his ultimate that he has as the mastermind. I'm going to keep pushing here to try to find the next locations for Valerie here. Try to get headshots. If you get a red damage marker, that means you... Oh, boy. That means you got a headshot, or a critical hit, at least. So you want to try to hit those so you can serve your ammo. Sounds like there's something nasty yep, on the other side all. of this, but I'm going to try to open this so we're ready for it later. There's a lot going on. I know, I know, I know, and I'm just trying to keep track of it all for you. There's a safe room right there, which will be really nice. We have a trap right here. Don't let him use that. Oh my god, reload, please. And again, trying to pick up ammo, trying to pick up credits as you find them. That's my main job. I'm really surprised that... Ah, crap, wasn't looking at the ground. I'm really surprised he isn't hitting us here with uh, Mr. X. Usually Mr. X would have destroyed us by now. He would have came in and just went, ba boom, here I am. Suck my butt. He must be thinking that he only has one or something and he's saving it. But you get like three Mr. X's as a mastermind, so you really just want to use them when you can. The only time you wouldn't want to use them is if they're just about to escape. Oh, did he down someone in here? No. Oh, he's just loading up this one room is what he's doing. Okay. I'm going to use my ability here to make it so we can stop. Or so things get more expensive. I have the Magnum, so I'm going to try to plow into this liquor here. That's seven points that the mastermind used up and basically went towards nothing. I'm going to hack. Actually, I'm going to wait to hack this. I'm ex Ooh, did they already hit it? Okay, I don't want to sit here and deal with something bad. He might use a machine like gun in here. Watched. Perfect. Look, now she got- Oh my god, we're doing great. So the fact that he hasn't used Mr. X is blowing uh, my mind. I'm, maybe he's going to use it in the third area, but this is really good for tutorial purposes to talk about what's going on. If we're really lucky, he's going to spawn Mr. X right now, and then he'll waste it. Yep, here it is. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh no, he downed that guy though. Crap. Okay, when you play against Mr. X, you just kind of got to walk around and kind of... You ever play DVD? You just got to loop him, man. You're not going to win in a fight with him. You just got to get away. Do circles. We got we got to get off of this guy. There's no point in trying to heal him. Yeah, this is, this is useless. We're just going to lose a ton of time now. I'm just going to try to loop. And maybe get into the safe area here. Kind of restock. Rethink about what I'm doing here. Because... Oh, man, that really sucked. We almost have a really, really clean exit here. 
but it's okay we'll take care of what we're doing here i'm gonna try to stock up so i could be ready and not waste time on the next area that we're gonna be in um the only thing that might actually help here is a flashbang against him but really i just gotta sit here and wait it out maybe hopefully he'll chase after me or maybe he's waiting on me all right our friends are dying but he's right on me so we're losing 30 seconds every time they die oh, i'm not over there I'm assuming Mr. X is gone now. Yep, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. What's he spawning? Okay, big boy zombies. Hit him in the butt. Don't let him get up. There we go. And now I can sit here and just be ready, or I can try to go help my teammates, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get close over there to make it so that if they have things that are getting in their way, I can get them on the other end, because the mastermind is probably trying to look at it from the point of view of them coming the long way. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So we got one, two, three. We need four. Man, we almost had a killer getaway here because if we would have... Okay, Samuel's still coming. We got to help him. If we would have gotten through all that after he had already used Mr. X, he would have wasted Mr. X right before an exit, which would have been perfect. Come on, Samuel. You can use your map by pressing select or whatever the heck button on your device. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. He's putting everything right there. He's wasting all his points. That's perfect. We just got to go and not get down. That was nice. He just blew everything. So he's not going to have a whole lot of points into this next area, which will be really nice for us. I think what I'm going to try to do is use my fever skill. Your fever skills are left bumper, right bumper on the Xbox controller. And those are like your ultimate. For Valerie, mine makes it so that he has to spend more to activate stuff within his camera. So I'm going to do that right now so we don't have a whole lot to deal with right at the beginning. I already stocked up earlier, so I'm just going in. And I'm going to try to do this. There, now everything just got way more expensive, so that's going to make his life suck for a little bit. How's my ammo doing? Good enough. I can always double back here. In this area, what we're trying to do... Oh, he's controlling one of those. Okay. Kill the dog. So since he's activated on this... Okay, I'm going to try to take out the dealer. That means that this zombie is going to have way more health and does way more damage since he's actively controlling it. Oh my god. And it's so wiggly and it's hard to aim when you're on a... When you're on a console... Okay, he got me. I kind of figured that was going to happen. I was taking too long to try to hit that. So I'm just going to keep moving here and try to find where we got to go. I'm in danger, apparently. I don't know why I'm... Not... Okay, I was going to say, why am I not activating my green herb there? Because she's supposed to do it automatically, but... I'm infected right now in the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see. So right now I got to get my infection gone. Oh, but he's on me. The infection makes it so that I can't do things sometimes. It just kind of causes you to have to cough or something, which really sucks. We got to keep going, though. We got to try to get these gates down. I'm picking up umbrella credits all over the place. Okay, get the gate down. These umbrella credits might be nice later for when I try to refill up on my ammo because I'm going to run out. All right, let's keep going here, though. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Anybody coming with? You know what? Fine. You can go that way. Right now, all I'm trying to do is find these cases over here so we can start shooting them. I don't know if you can mark in this game. If you can, that'd be really helpful, but I don't know how to. So we got to take these out. Now I got lots of ammo here. Do I have an enhancing herb? I do. I have an, I have an enhancing herb. So I'm going to use that to do more attack damage. And I'm going to reload my magnum here and just try to pour into it. I don't know if there's a critical area. If there is, I ain't found it. Like you'd think it might be the head or whatever's in here. But now you see I'm... Oh, there we go. For a brutal game. I'm still on my yellow here. Like, is it up top? I don't know where the crit is. But we're trying to take these out, and we'll get a lot of time. Crap, out of ammo. I do have a torch, though, so I can probably still hit it. Alright, perfect. Melee weapons are really nice. That's where the... Infection treatment first aid. Okay, I think I hear Mr. X. I just gotta move. The... Oh, okay, what are we doing here? Are we just hiding up here? Oh, she's hiding. Okay, so we got to keep moving. We're just kind of wasting our time. We got to find the two more of the... You have no hope. Crap, she's down. We got to find two more of the things that we use to... Did we go down? Oh, no. We cornered. Ready to do this. Two more of the tubes. Right now, I just feel like we're cornered here. I get really lost in this area, and it's supposed to be confusing. You can pull out your map, but man, even that doesn't help you sometimes. So... Let's just try to get back to where we got to get on to our objectives here. Is there an area that's showing it off? So there's a bunch of different pods 
In terms of which one's activated, oh boy. I think you just gotta look for him. So I see that yellow one. Oh, crap. I see that yellow one in the distance over there. Then you gotta find out how to get over there. This one doesn't seem activated. Oh, I just got flashbanged by the killer or by the mastermind. Take this out. That'll give us some time. Yeah, I know it looks like I'm barely even trying because you get so lost in this area. We have this little icon over here to help us out. But there's just a barrier everywhere all the time. So you just got to keep hustling, keep hustling, keep hustling. Hope he can get your way over there in time. Here we go. I can start doing damage over here, but he's kind of stuck in this area. I would love to have helped out my teammate over here. Oh. What a nice kick here. I'm trying to help her. It's not working, though. Well, we got to do more damage here, and I'm not doing it. So this is the part where it starts to get really hard. And now he's going to go ahead and put that out on us. So he's got to hide. People are dying. He's grouping up on one of the pots and there's just too much going on all at the same time so this is how a lot of these matches are going i think we did really well honestly considering everything that was happening but you start reaching a point where you get overwhelmed this final area is really really at least for me really tough to traverse like you look at your map and like okay well it's over there but then you can't be sitting here looking at your map and then also looking at the ground and also looking in front of you you know what i mean so there's an opportunity cost when you do these things now i still think we did really well we were having trouble finding where we had to go hit things. I think I'm the only one who actually did damage to any of the pods, so that didn't help anything. Like, I took out a whole pod on my on my own. So if we had other... If the other guys were able to find things, I think that would have been helpful. Also, if I had known where I was going better, that would have been helpful, because I could have been doing more damage to the pods. Ultimately, this is where one of the big weaknesses of the survivors is right now, is that they don't know what they're doing. And me included. We don't know what we're doing because the game's only been out for a day. So there's going to be a lot of people crying out saying Mastermind's overpowered, especially since this Mastermind wasn't that great. <laughs> you get a good Mastermind, it's really hard. He'll just stomp you. So what I think is going to happen is as survivors learn, as survivors are able to communicate, you know, in Discord and stuff like that, it's going to go a long way. But this is kind of what's going through my mind as I'm playing as a survivor, as Jan. A couple of things I didn't talk about that are really helpful. If you see a supply zombie, he'll have a yellow icon on him. Take him down and he'll drop like a special weapon or lots of ammo or lots of healing items. We may have seen that during this play here, but I don't remember talking about it. So keep keep track of those. Um, basically, if he's doing damage to you, you're losing time. If you're completing objectives or using your abilities, you're increasing your time. So keep cycling your stuff. You still want to have a good opportunity to use some of your skills. But keep trying to activate things so you can keep helping out your team and forward the objectives. There's going to be more maps. There's going to be more survivors. There's going to be more special ultimates. You know, Mr. X is an ultimate. There's going to be more of those amongst the other masterminds. There's a lot more coming to this. And it's really interesting. It's really exciting. I like that there's a new 4v1 game out there. And if you guys have any questions or you guys want me to break things down step by step, that's not so fast paced. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to do that. We'll like... Take a look at this, take a look at this, take a look at this, take a look at this. And then maybe we can have that in a separate video so you can kind of understand the best ways to handle things. I think what I'll also do is I'll try to make a mastermind video so you can understand the perspective of the mastermind. Because the best way you can do, the best thing you can do to become a better survivor in this game is to play at least a round of mastermind. Because then you can understand how he works and then that helps you counter him better. So I know there's a lot of talking in this video, a lot of quick, 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 but that's how this game is. Very tough, very keep track of what you're doing, very, you know, head on a swivel. But that makes it really engaging. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe. We stream every single day on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. That link will be in the description. Or if you want to follow me on Twitter and talk to me about this game or just talk to me in general, feel free to go ahead and do that. Links are all in the description. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. And then I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.